Okay, in this section, I'm gonna discuss AGE programming. Some of your older controls had it, some of them didn't. Uh, whether you used it or not, I'm not sure, but I can tell you the way that it's been redefined, it is probably the most powerful thing we've ever added to our controls. We all know what it's like to get a print that's missing a dimension and having to halt what you're doing and go back to the drawing board or call a customer or pull out a trig book, do something to find a dimension that's not on the print, right? So I have two examples here. One of them is a part that has a line that would intersect an arc. The other one has a line that would be tangent to the arc. And I'm going to show you how to program them both using the AGE profile. When I look at the screen here, you'll see that I have the first page already completed. I'm in AGE profile. I have a starting point of minus 1 and minus 5, which is this point right here. It tells me my tools on the left. It gives a finish cut of 10 thousandths. I've got feed rates of 20, thousandths, or 20 inches per minute, 15 inches for finish cut and tool number 1. And the control is asking me, am I going to do a milling event or an arc event first? So I'm going to select mill. And the first question it asks me is, where is the X end point of this line, right? The X is still minus 1, so I put that in there. Then it asks me for the Y dimension, and that's the part that's missing on the print. So I have two choices. One, I can guess at it. Two, I can leave it blank. In this case, I'm going to guess because I know there can be more than one answer because this line would also come out of the arc over here. So I'm going to push the guess button and then say it's somewhere around minus two inches. Next question it asks me is for a Conrad. It shows me that there's a half inch Conrad between the arc and the milling event. It also asks me the length and it asks me the angle of the line. I don't know either, so I'm going to skip those two. Next question is, is it a mill or an arc? I'm going to select arc. First question it asks, is this tangent? Okay, as you can tell it is not tangent, so I'm going to say two for no. Direction of the arc is clockwise from start to finish. When I get over to the other side of the part, the X end is one inch, absolute. The Y again is not on the print. So again, I'm gonna push the guess button, say about minus two. Uh, give the center of the arc, which is zero, zero. There's Conrad of a half an inch again, and the radius of that arc is three inches. At that point, you'll notice that the control says okay, and it's already done the math. But I'm gonna conclude this by doing the last piece of information. So I've got a milling event. It is not tangent to the arc. The X ends at one, the Y ends at minus five, and I'm gonna page forward, and when I push the look button, you'll see that the part is completed. So the dimension that I was missing here and here is completed by the way the machine takes the information of the arc center and radius, and takes the information of the fact that the arc is straight up and down at one inch negative or one inch positive. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back here, and I'm going to erase a few events, okay? So I'm gonna go back one, erase that event, go back there, erase that event, and I'm back to my beginning point. All right, so now I'm going to show you how the tangent works, okay? So you see on this part here, I've got a line that's tangent to an arc, and it's also tangent as it comes down here. Neither the X or the Y dimensions are on the print. Okay, so in here I select mill again. It says, what are your X and Y ends? And I can either guess them or I can skip them. The truth of the matter is the control is so smart, it can figure them out either way. But sometimes it helps to show you both ways to do this. So I'm going to use the guess button. I'm going to say it's somewhere around minus 2. All right, the Y I'm going to guess again, say it's also somewhere around minus 2. Okay, there's no Conrad on the part. And it's asking me the length and the angle, neither of which are on the print, so I'm going to page forward. Now I select arc and it says, is this arc tangent to that milling event? Well, it is, so I select one. Direction of arc is clockwise. X and Y end, again, I don't know them, but this time I'm gonna show the power of the control by not answering them at all. Center of the arc is on the print, zero, zero. There's no Conrad. The radius is three inches, and it's asking me how many degrees of arc, which also is not on the print. Page forward again, go to the last milling event, it is tangent to the arc, X ends at one inch, Y ends at minus five, and you'll see it says okay, and when I push the look button, everything is corrected. The next thing I'm gonna do is show you how to do a little bit more difficult geometry. Most of the time, a print should not be missing this many dimensions, but in order for you to see how the control can work, I think this next print is gonna be pretty helpful. All right.
Next, I'm going to show you how to do a little more uh, high-end AGE programming. If you look at the print here, you're going to notice that there's a lot of dimensions missing on this print. Normally, if I was a machinist and got a print like this, I'd send it back to whoever drew it and ask for all the missing parts. However, to prove how powerful the AGE is, I'm going to show you how to program this part anyway. Let's assume this is a pocket. And on this pocket, you'll notice there's no Y dimension. The tangency point here, here, and here are all missing. The Y dimension right here is missing. I'm going to show you how to make this into a pocket and how the, motor, uh, how the control itself can do all of the geometry for you as you go without ever having to stop and find another dimension. Okay? We're going to start calling this portion right here 00. zero. So to get started, if you see up on the screen, I've got my 00, zero already programmed in here. I'm in an irregular pocket and I have my feeds, speeds, finish cuts, and so on. So I'm going to start out here going in this direction. So I'm going to select mill. X ends at 3.75 inches and zero. I've got an OK here already. Right, so I'm going to page forward and I'm going to go to the next milling event. And the next milling event, it says, is this line tangent to that line? Of course it's not. So say no. My X point for my ending is on the print 4.5 inches. However, my Y end is not on the print. So I'm going to leave it blank. And I'm going to go down to the last question, which says, what's the angle of this line? And here it's showing me from zero to the angle of that line at 60 degrees. So I'm going to put that in there. And as you look at it right now, I've got the first two pieces, right? So I'm going to do another milling event. And this milling event also is not tangent. X ends at 4.5 again. And Y ends at 2.75. So again, whenever I have the right information, it's going to say OK right away. Even though there's questions left, I just skip all of those says, what do you want to do next? I'm going to do an arc. This arc is tangent to the line. So I'm going to say one for yes. Direction is counterclockwise. X and Y end, it doesn't know. That's the tangency that's missing, right? So as I explained before, if there's no tangency, I have to guess. But in the case where there is a tangency, the direction of the arc will give it the right answer whether I guess or not. So I'm leaving them blank and filling in the centers. The centers are 3.75 in X, 2.75 in Y. And the last thing that I know is the actual radius of the arc is 3 quarters of an inch. Okay, so even though it doesn't say okay yet, there's nothing else I can tell it. So I page forward and I go to the next arc. This arc is also tangent. Now watch how cool this part is. I'm going to say yes, it's tangent. I'm going to give the direction, which is clockwise. And the only other thing I know about this entire arc is that it's an inch and a half radius. So I put that in there, page forward. Go to the third arc. It's also tangent. Directions back to counterclockwise. Again, I don't know my ending points. They're somewhere around here, right? But I do know my centers. My centers are zero. 3.25 and the other thing that I know is the radius is an inch and a quarter. Okay, at this point you'll see it's starting to fill in some of the information for me, but I'm going to continue. So I go to page forward and I select this milling event. This milling event is also tangent, right? X ends at zero, Y end I don't know, but I do know that the angle is 300 degrees. The way I got that is the direction here shows me 30, but that's coming from 90 degrees, right? So I got 0 to 90 to 180 to 270 to 300. So put 300 in there. At that point, you see it's starting to look like the part. I've got one more milling event left, which is not tangent, ends at 0, 0. Okay, so I've got an OK again, right? I look at it, it all looks good here. I page forward and I push end AGE. Now watch how cool this is in the way that the control works. I'm going to change modes and I'm going to go to the setup mode and I'm going to show you the tool path of this part. Notice how the tool path roughing cycle roughs in the vertical direction. It goes back and forth and then it'll clean out the outside. Now check this out. I'm going to go back to my program. I'm going to pull up event number six, which remember that arc where I didn't put in any information? Well, I'm going to change the radius of that arc. I'm going to change it from an inch and a half to four and a half inches. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at the setup mode and look at the tool path. Notice how it changes the total tool path to horizontal just by the difference in the geometry. The machine is always thinking in the background and with a little bit of information and a whole lot of things assumed or left out, this control can figure out your geometry for you and you should never have to stop what you're doing, go get information from another source and then come back and finish it.